Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG. Today we're going to start our look at the myantennas.com NFED half wave 80 through 10 1K. Today we're going to go through the unboxing, take a look at what's in the box, and then take a brief look at the instructions. So let's dive in and open the package. This just came in the mail. Uh, was sent via USPS Priority Mail. It's a flat rate uh, prepaid envelope. So let's uh, cut this off and see what we have in here. This is from myantennas.com and uh, this was paid for with channel funds. This is not uh, a freebie from them. Um, so let's just see what we've got here. Okay. Ooh, lots of uh, foam. Uh, looks like it came from something else and has been made to work for here. This has got the uh, this is the multiband in fed half wave antenna for 80 40 30 20 17 15 12 and 10 but not 60. okay n fed half wave the model is 80 10 1 k maximum power 1 k that's fine because um, my amp is only 500 watts my antennas.com designed by echo 73 mike made in USA and let's take a look at this this appears to be a heat vent the thing is to be mounted with this end up like that there are some mounting brackets so it can be mounted on a uh, the side of a mast or something There's another bracket here Okay, and the far end um, has got a nice big hole for rope to go through and then uh, be held up with rope. This right here has got a little um, doodad. You can unscrew this little nut and change the length of the fold back. We'll see if we need to do that. This is a loading coil that uh, is on the antenna. Now, the key thing in putting this together this comes without instructions, by the way. <laughs> um, okay, that loading coil is pretty near uh, the end of it. Uh, this wire is a uh, nice wire, I'm guessing. 16 gauge uh, insulated wire so you can kind of string it through a tree if you have to. So we put this up on one end there is a coax connector down here and there is a uh, connector here including a little solder connector that you can use uh, for a counterpoise or a connection to ground. So I'm going to look up the instructions for this but here it is uh, ready to go and the key problem I'm going to have on my property is that um, I've only got an acre so I'll have to find a place to put this where I can stretch this out to maximum advantage. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is start over to the west of the house loop it up to the roof at the apex and then run it to a corner of uh, my lot um, where I can put up a couple uh, of those uh, steel chain link fence top rail things to uh, hold this up. So it'll be higher in the middle. It'll be sort of like a quasi-inverted V. All right, so there we are. Okay, so one thing that I noticed uh, with the package was that there was no instruction manual. So I, yesterday, which was a Saturday, I sent out a, an email to my antennas and 
within uh, about 12 hours, I received a PDF file in return that prints out as this manual right here. Now, this antenna will cover 3 to 30 megahertz. It's 130 feet long. So uh, they talk in here, the manual, about how it's designed so that it will work well even if it's fairly low to the ground. So what we're going to do is put that in in a place where there's not a terribly long run from the uh, end of the antenna um, to the lightning arrestor and then we'll take it up to the roof up by the weather station and then down to a far corner of the property and that should give us our run. And uh, we'll check it out on all bands and see what we've got, see if we can't get some QSOs on it. I appreciate their very fast response on getting the manual to me. Uh, it really helps. There's a couple little things in there uh, that you need to remember. Uh, the figures that they give you, the curves and so on that are in here, are actually based on getting the center up rather than one of the ends up. So that's what we're going to try to do. A uh, lot of people really like this antenna, and I want to say a special thank you to you, Augies, out there, who, through your support of this channel, enabled me to use channel funds to purchase this antenna. Be sure to take a look at decastler.com support for different ways that you can support the channel so that I can get other things uh, besides this antenna and uh, some other things I have in mind to enhance the channel. And uh, until we next meet, 73.